guys. We're going to show you all some of the home renovation we've been doing. We've got more to do, but we started yep. here. I don't know. We just picked start here. Wanted to start in the master bedroom. Uh, that's as far as we got. We had these high hopes that <laughs> while y'all were on spring break, we were going to put new flooring in the entire upstairs. The whole and upstairs was going to be done. The whole week, we were going to get it done. We well, only made it in here. We did more than flooring, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah. So we're going to show you some of that. We didn't film all of it, but some of the details as we were going along, uh, we thought we'd take you along for the ride. Hey there, just made a trek up to Cincinnati. It's about an hour north of where we live uh, to pick up our flooring for the upstairs. So we're going to be putting in some laminate flooring, ripping up the old carpet that we have. And uh, we think it'll be definitely an improvement for this house uh, that after we build our house, we'll need to sell this one. So we're trying to make some improvements as we go so that we can make this house appealing to someone else. And uh, hopefully you enjoy following along. Two pallets of this flooring really had my truck weighted down. Be sure to check once you get something like this to see if you have any damage. I actually had quite a few boxes, two or three, I guess, that had damage on the corners, which will affect how these things go together. I talked to them about it, and they actually gave me a few boxes for free just to accommodate. And then came the real workout. We had to unload each of these boxes, which weighed probably 40 pounds a piece, and put them downstairs and upstairs and everywhere we could fit them. In the middle of kind of preparing to put the flooring down upstairs, we decided to do a whole lot more in our master bedroom. So that's what we're turning our attention to now. We really didn't like this tile very much, but it was completely surrounding the tub behind the glass doors in the shower, and it just did not need to come up at this time. We were gonna change the paint color from this tan, and we wanted to get rid of the wall-to-wall -wall mirror swap out the lighting, paint the cabinets. I think this will come together pretty well and you'll see that in a minute. It's demo day in our bathroom. Got a nice uh, face shield ready. About to take that mirror down. It's exciting, right? Yep. Hopefully uneventful. We shall see. Yeah, that's the plan. Let's do it. mirror is down that's all that was holding it up is these what one two three four five six seven eight blobs of tar or whatever that stuff is so it did tear the paper like we expected in a few places but i can float that i'm gonna scrape it and sand it and then float that with some drywall mud <laughs> they never even finished so they, knew, they knew a mirror was yeah. going there all right we are about to paint some cabinets, huh? Yep. Got to get primer on them. Mm -hmm. Two coats probably today. Yeah, so we've prepped the wall here multiple times. This had a big mirror, as you probably saw. And <laughs> that's ready. We vacuumed up all the dust. 
We've cleaned all of this. We've left a lot of our stuff under the cabinets because we're not painting the inside. We're just doing the face frame. And then we've got a little bit of tile protection here. So primer is going on. Yep, Ho let's go. Hopefully it will stick to the very shiny, glossy cabinets. It's gonna, it's gonna stick, it's gonna be perfect. You got your paint shirt on? Yes, isn't it pretty? <laughs> All right, let's do this. <laughs> Much less than ideal painting conditions out here tonight. Uh, it's very windy. We're spraying the uh, drawer fronts and cabinet doors and it's looking pretty good. This is the back. I got two coats on there. It's laying down really nicely. Hopefully it can dry before the sun sets because it's almost setting because uh, rain's coming tomorrow. So we got to let these dry, get them in, find somewhere to put them. Hello, Rebecca. Here's your water. Thank you. And uh, finish this up. Uh, we'll have to spray the other one, the tops another day. Can't tomorrow. Yeah. We don't have anywhere inside to spray. Anyway, okay. that's the update. No, you have DIY projects everywhere. Got like drawer fronts sitting everywhere, cabinet doors in the closet. We didn't get as far as I wanted today, but we got the back side totally done and the edges probably. I can touch up the edges a little bit when we do the other side, but it got dark on us. Rain's coming in tomorrow, so we'll have to get back to these in a couple days. Time to rip this carpet out. I gotta move some of this stuff and then get busy. Just about done painting, just finished up some more in the bathroom, so this carpet has got to go. If you don't know, I have another channel where I do a lot of woodworking and DIY projects. So the full build of that accent wall is actually over on that channel. I'll link to it below. Go check that out if you want to see more about how we did that. This is our pretty new kitten at the time, Bandit, that you've seen a few times, and he just loves being involved. Flip on the light. Ooh. Pretty. So go to work one day and you finish the mirrors. Just the lights. <laughs> the last two weeks have been, three weeks have been a little bit bonkers. We've been doing a ton of home renovation projects. Rebecca is a teacher, so she and the kids were home for spring break and we decided we're just tackling our master bedroom. Uh, I've got to attach the drawer faces and cabinet doors back on. We did a good job labeling those, luckily, so we can just put them right back where they go. And then this stuff actually had no hardware, so we bought some hardware to add to it and that will almost totally complete our bathroom makeover. We're probably gonna add some shelves later, yes. but for now it can just be done. Yeah, and the last week has been really nuts. Uh, our oldest got strep, so we had some time out for that. The youngest got bit by a cat in the neighborhood, so we had a whole issue with that. He started getting rabies shot treatments because we couldn't find the owner, and then we found the owner, so luckily we could stop that. But so he's all clear. Yeah, all clear, he's good, <laughs> but he got five shots one day because they thought we didn't know who this cat was. Anyway, it's been a it's been a whole ordeal, but we pulled up carpet, we got rid of all of that, we put down some luxury vinyl plank, we added shoe mold to make that look tidy. We did the accent wall, we painted ceiling in here Medded, and in there. Filled yeah, holes. filled a bunch of holes before that. Yeah. And we totally redid the bathroom. Um, let us know if you want to see more of this. We're going to be doing some fixing up of this house uh, to sell it so that when we build the new house, you know, this one has a little more mass appeal. So let us know if that's interesting to you. I know this is uh, kind of the channel mostly about us building the new house, um, but this is kind of, it kind of goes along mm -hmm. with it as far as fixing this one up that someone else will 
will find it appealing. So right. let us know below if that's something you want. We also renovated this little mudroom hall tree type thing where the kids hang their backpacks and put their shoes. We updated it with a cool kind of sage green color that we're going to continue into the downstairs bath, but that's a project for a different day. Here I am just getting some of the hooks back on there. We went with these modern kind of gold looking hooks and I really liked the way they turned out. So we are reminded once again that home projects, they just take longer than you ever think they're going to take. Um, well, there are steps that you don't think about. Yeah, when things you- happen, happen Things have to happen before you paint. When you start repairing walls and doing things, you realize, oh, there's more of this that I have to do. So we're making it through some of this type of stuff, but um, thanks for being here and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. That's it. <laughs>